G'day everyone, welcome to North Queensland Barbecue and Brewing. This afternoon or tonight for dinner I'm cooking us chicken strips on the barbecue behind us. It's a really simple recipe so I'll show you how I do it. So essentially I've just got a chicken breast here and as you can see like most chicken breasts you've got the tender there so I'll just take the tender off. I'm doing two of these, I've already cut one up, that can go in there. Basically I'm just portioning this now into even portions so if you end up with a little bit that's a bit thin don't worry too much about that. It's a fairly easy recipe but just as evenly as you can get it. And that there should be, should be it. So I've ended up with a bowl here, basically of chicken strips, and they're basically just from the breast. So from there, what I do is I just cut a lime in half. I'm gonna add the juice of the lime into there. So I'm not too worried if there's pips get in there. It's literally just the flavor. I'll get all this out later. But basically juice that as hard as you can, the whole lime, and uh, then for, to that, I, you can either do a couple of things. I've got some barbecue rub here, but you can, um, there we go, good amount of lime juice. You can actually um, add salt, pepper, and garlic powder to that if you wish. So I've fully juiced that lime into here now, and I'll give that a good stir, get that lime flavor in. What I want to do is uh, add some of my barbecue rub here. So I'm going to just give that a good, a good seasoning of this. And then once again, stir it up again. So like I said, you can just add salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder if you wish. I'm using this one here, which is the, uh, the Lane's Magic Dust. It's absolutely brilliant on this. And just give that a stir again. Just let that marinate in there. You know, leave the amount of seasoning up to you. Um, what you'll end up with something that looks like that. So you can see it's got a good coating of marinade on it, um, the, uh, the rub. And it's also got a good amount of lime in there. So the lime will just soak into that meat now. So now I'm gonna leave this for an hour. Got the fire going behind me. The one thing about this is you can cook it on a gas barbecue, you can cook it inside on your griddle pan, on a, on a cast iron fry pan, however you wanna cook it. In an oven, you can deep fry it, but I don't think that'll work out too well. Or you could smoke it if you wished. I've never done that. I've always done it hot and fast on the grill plate. And um, we'll go through that in about an hour's time when we're ready to cook these. So now it's, now it's time to put these on and uh, I've got lime charcoal here, I've got the grill uh, from the gas barbecue here, so I'm just going to lay these out. Uh, you can do these, like I said, on gas barbecue, you can do them inside on a fry pan, it doesn't really matter. It's just a really, really nice and quick and simple way of barbecuing. And I mean, everyone loves these, they taste amazing. Just that lime juice and the rub combined. So I'll give these a couple of minutes aside, probably four minutes aside, you'll be able to feel when they're firm. Uh, if Obviously if they're smaller cuts, take them off. Um, take them off first, don't leave them on as long as the thicker stuff. And you can rotate them around as well, so they'll sit on a couple of different sides the way you've cut them. So we'll come back when these are ready. Alright, so these are good to go now, so I'll take them all off and... Uh, yeah, they've been cooking for about 5-10 oh, minutes or so. I'll just uh, a little bit warm here at the moment, but we'll give that a go. Mm. I love that, the flavour of the lime. And the rest of it just goes through it. I'll, um, I'll take the rest of them off to rest. We're actually going to, that's a bit warm. We're going to put that into wraps. Tonight I'm going to actually cook the wraps here above the charcoal now. But yeah, it's pretty quick and simple. It's really easy to do. Marinate it, get some lump charcoal, put it on the, on the barbecue and just cook it. Or you can do it in a fry pan, it doesn't matter. Just really good flavours. The difference with doing it over the lump charcoal being that you're going to get that really nice barbecue flavour to it. So yeah, I'll rip all these off. Um, if you like what we're doing here or you want me to do anything, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe, it'd be really handy. And yeah, until next time, guys, hopefully you enjoy that. Give that a go and uh, take care.